Hey creators, have you noticed a new CapCut watermark that appears in the right corner of your videos? That is annoying, that is irritating, but no worries. I'm going to show you how to remove that watermark from your videos free of charge. Right now, to remove that watermark from your videos, you have to pay CapCut. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove that watermark free of charge hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time to view my channel my name is ben and on this channel i create videos about tips and hacks on how to grow your youtube channel for success i also upload videos about editing tutorials like this very video that you're watching so if you want to elevate your editing skills consider subscribing to my channel and if you want to grow your youtube channel as well consider subscribing for exclusive tips and hacks about growing your youtube channel for success and don't forget to like this video consider liking this video leave a comment about any video you like to watch and don't forget to join my whatsapp group if you want to get the creators that can collaborate with you if you want to get exclusive tips and anything about youtube growth just check the link i've pinned a comment under this video check that link join and let's grow together now as you all know youtube is against watermarks if you upload videos on youtube that contains watermarks your channel may be denied for monetization and if you already monetized and you begin uploading videos that contains watermarks you may be demonetized in the future if we turn to the side of CapCut, CapCut has introduced this watermark to promote their product, to promote their app. And CapCut is a TikTok company. CapCut is under TikTok and CapCut doesn't care so much about YouTube. That's why they don't really look into this problem. To remove this watermark in your videos from CapCut, you have to subscribe for Pro Futures. This is literally paying them some money. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove that watermark free of charge, as I said before. Now, I'm going to show you two different methods that you can use to remove this watermark. And the first method, you will need a logo. You will need a logo for your channel, okay? The first method, you will need a logo for your channel. And if you cannot create a logo for your channel, don't worry, because the second method got you. The second method doesn't need you to have anything. So watch these two methods and choose one that is good for you. But I will literally recommend the second method, though the first method is also good because it's all about branding yourself. If you would like branding yourself, use the first method. All right, let's jump into it. So I'm going to use this video for today's example. And this is the watermark that I was talking about. This watermark can be changed to any corner of your video. You do that by just tapping on it. And once you're done tapping on it, this is what happens. So you can change this watermark to appear in the upper left corner or lower left corner. You can make it appear in the upper right corner or lower right corner. I literally make mine appear in the upper right corner. Now, as you can see, hiding this watermark, it is pro. You cannot hide it if you have not subscribed to Pro Futures. Now, after choosing where you want this watermark to appear, you tap on the timeline. Now, before you think about removing this watermark, you have to make sure that you're done editing your video and your video is ready to be exported. Once you're done editing your video, what you do, you export your video to your gallery. After exporting your video, you minimize CapCut and you head to Google Play Store which is right here. Now you go to Google Play Store and search for InShot. Okay? You search for InShot and then you install it. But it's already installed on my phone, so I'll literally open it. So this is how InShot looks like. InShot is an editing app that edits both photos and videos. But this time around, we are going to use the video editing feature, which is right here, okay? So you tap on New and you import the video that you exported from CapCut, okay? You have to import the video that you exported from CapCut, the video that you want to remove the watermark. Okay, so this is the video that we exported from CapCut. And if you look at this video, it still contains a CapCut watermark. Though it also has a InShot watermark here, but for the InShot watermark, it is very simple to remove. So what you do first, you remove the InShot watermark by just tapping here and then free remove. So as you see, the 
watermark for in short is already removed so the next thing you do it is to remove the cap cut watermark and as i said before for this method you will need a logo for your channel okay so what you do you go to peep where you see pip right here i don't know what it literally means then you tap on photos and you scroll down to your logo okay my logo is somewhere down here this is my logo this is my channel logo as you see it right here and, and that is the pic that you see on my profile picture of this channel okay if you don't have a logo you can create one and use this method but if you don't want to create a logo you can wait for the second method though this method it's also good because it helps you to brand your content now after bringing your logo right here what you do you make sure that it is expanded from the beginning of your video up to the end of your video right here as i'm going to show you so this is the beginning up to the end as you're seeing it right there now after that what you do you tap right here where you see mask and then you choose this circle mask that you see right there after that you tap on tick and it is saved after saving it you expand this logo of yours to the size that can cover that watermark let's say that is enough and then you drag it to cover the watermark as you're seeing it right here so as you see the watermark is now covered and it cannot be shown okay so there is this part right here where the watermark is actually expanding from the beginning here you see that it comes out and then in so what you do right here it is to drag this timeline up to when you see that watermark expanding coming out and in then you split this overlay logo of your channel as you see it right here now what you do you expand this first section of your channel logo and you can bring it back here and expand it okay so that it can cover the entire watermark you just expand it to a size that it can cover this entire watermark and as you can see right now the entire watermark is covered and if we play this video you don't see any kind of watermark okay that is method number one but under this same method you can also use this in case you don't want to create a logo okay let's assume this logo is not yet imported in and what you do right now you just come to text and then you text your your channel name like ben did it as my channel name after that you size your channel name and then you drag it to cover this watermark so you just make sure that this watermark is covered now after that you play it once again and as you see we cannot see it again so what you do you just drag this to the end of the video so that it covers from the beginning up to the end and this is also the same method as that of using your channel logo okay now this is the first method let's go into the second method which is the best method that i can literally recommend for you because for it you not need to put a logo or a name in your video okay now before continue i'll just give random shout outs to my subscribers and shout out to live script world and other smart tutorials thank you so much for subscribing to my channel liking my videos and always commenting and if you want to get a shout out in my next video, just subscribe to my channel, like this video, and don't forget to leave a comment. All right, thank you so much. Let's continue. Now, the second method after exporting your video that has a CapCut watermark, what you do, you minimize CapCut as we did in the first method. You minimize CapCut and then you go to google play store and this time around we are not going to use inshot instead we are going to use watermark removal which is this right here that you're seeing this is how it looks like and when you tap on it this is how it looks like 
For my case, I've already installed this on my phone. Now, once this app is installed, it changes the cover. So you have to make sure that you install the right app. And this is how it looks like once it is done installed, as you see right here. But from the Google Play Store, it looks like this. It is cover changes when it is still on the Google Play Store and when it is already installed in your phone. So don't get confused and don't install another app thinking that it is this one, okay? So once you're done installing your app, you open it. Now this app is multifunctional. It can actually remove anything that you want to remove in your videos. Let's say you have downloaded a TikTok video and you want to remove a TikTok logo from that video. You can literally use this app to remove that TikTok logo. In case you want to upload a video from TikTok on YouTube, you can use this app to remove the TikTok logos and upload your videos, okay? So here you tap on select, then you go to videos and and now you choose a video you want to remove a cap card watermark, okay? Which is this video. Now you have to use this triangular box to allocate what you want to erase from your video, okay? It is resizable. You can resize it to any size that you want it to be, okay? So what you do, you just resize it, then you drag it, and then you resize it to that size of this watermark. And now after resizing it, what you do, you just tap on save right here. Now before saving it completely, you have to choose a resolution for your video, but I recommend choosing the highest resolution, which is the first one on top. You can also use the second one, but this is the one that I recommend you using because it gives a higher resolution for your video. Okay, after that, you tap on tick right here and then it will begin exporting it. Let's wait for it to export. Now, as you see, the video is done exporting. So let's view it and see. Now, as you see, this video is playing and it doesn't have any watermark. I recommend the second method because you can use this app to remove any kind of watermark from your videos. If that was helpful, thumb up this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Check out this video that teaches how to color grade on CapCut if you want to learn color grading. And you can check out this playlist that teaches how to edit the editing tutorials and everything about editing. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.